Why are you avoiding the camera? Why aren't you in pictures? It doesn't make any sense and it drives us crazy. Don't you understand that you should be in photos? I swear to you so many times I have had friends, family, etc., 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 dodge the camera and granted, I might be a little obnoxious with the camera, but that is how I capture great memories. That is how I capture where we are as a family at different stages in our lives. And yet so many of you, and I know this is not just specific to my family, you are dodging pictures. Either you feel like it's not a good hair day, it's not a good face day, I'm not capturing your good side, your good side. I am beyond tired of the excuses. Now, as somebody who is 70 pounds overweight myself and not feeling the best I've ever felt about myself in my life for a variety of reasons, I get it. I know what it's like to not want to be in front of the camera. However, I also don't get a lot of opportunity to, except for this, this, me taking my own picture, me taking video of myself. There are very few exceptions to that in my entire adult life. In the 90s when I was a teen, I really started to utilize a camera for the first time. I begged for a camera when I was very young and got to get one. and. Pretty much have gone every day of my life since then with a camera in tow. I have captured excellent memories throughout my life. Now back then I actually had girlfriends who also utilized their cameras and photos got taken of us and it was fantastic. Now today's generation and today's world, everyone has their cell phone and they have their videos and they are taking constant pictures of their lives, constant video, you know, doing it for the gram and just really trying to put everything out there. I don't have those people in my life, so I'm not in anyone's effing pictures ever. And considering I'm always behind my camera, I'm not in my own pictures either until recently. Entire years worth of family holidays are documented in great depth and there's no evidence I was there. Vacations, years of my life have passed where I am not there. And I understand that not everybody is camera happy. However, I'm also crushingly aware how often people in my life have pulled their cameras out when we were together on vacation, when we are together for a holiday and they are taking pictures of each other. They're taking pictures of the sky. They're taking pictures of a cool rock over here. I've, you know, held the camera out and taken a selfie of Mark and me and nobody offered to, hey, let me get a picture of you guys. Now, I also know I'm picky. I get it. I don't want super crappy photos. You know, that photo where our heads are right in the center of the vertical picture. So 50% of it is us and 50% of it is ceiling. But that's because nobody should be making that mistake anymore. It doesn't make any sense for that to happen in a photo. That said, I'm just thankful to have photos taken, especially if they're candids of me. And you know, I'm awkward in front of a camera because I'm almost never in front of one. But I honest to God can say, if you are blessed to have a family member who is constantly trying to take photos of you, yes, I'm calling that a blessing. No, it's because you are loved. It's because somebody loves you enough that they want to remember you. They want to remember where you are at this moment in life. They want to capture this and never forget how beautiful you are. They cherish you enough to immortalize you in image. Now, I know I keep turning this into a sob story, but I will say I have cried. I have deeply cried at times because it feels like nobody wants to remember me. It feels like 
That's what it's like when you're the person always behind the camera. And it's worse when people get so used to you being behind the camera that they ask why you don't have the camera in your hand. They ask, well, you're recording this, right? Or, hey, can you take a family picture of us? Over and over and over and over. So Ashley Sue, why don't you just ask someone to take your picture? Because that effing sucks. Do you know how much it sucks that there are no candidates of me for any holidays or any vacation? Do you know how much it blows to have people ask me if they can take my picture or worse, if I want them to take my picture? I get it. For some of you who do that, you're trying to be respectful. For some of you who do that, you've actually heard me rant and bitch about this before. But more often than not, that means that the only photos of me are incredibly awkward and incredibly posed. In the end, I just feel, well, you know, in case you didn't see my video about feeling unlovable, this might be a good chance to check that out. And while that video has nothing to do with photography, it is about feeling not valuable within your own circle. And, you know, I think that's something so many of us can relate to. But I have had people threaten, people who know me, people who love me, people who I love, threaten to hit me over my camera. I've also had people claim that, uh, that other people should hit me for my camera. Now, I'm not following people into a mother effing bathroom to take photos or video of them. And granted, like, I know it can be a little awkward when you're not used to it, but there's a nice way to ask someone not to take your photo. But if you're just being a chicken shit because you feel like you're not ready, well, screw that. Do you understand you are loved? Somebody is taking your picture. And some of the pictures that I have been bitched at for taking are ones I have been thanked for later for taking. And the candids that drive people up the wall originally are the best photos and everybody ends up agreeing to that. They're the ones that people frame. They're the ones that bring laughter to the family. I just want to take your picture. And if you look like ass, I'm going to delete it. I'm not going to blow it up and frame it. If you see me with my camera in hand, realize that I love you and you are worth remembering and that you are beautiful exactly how you are. And even if you feel like you're having an off day, you might end up loving how you look later. And if you have your camera in hand, remember, if you love me, that maybe I'm worth remembering too. I had an aunt before talk about how she felt about her looks when she was in her 30s, back when she was a cyclist, and that she felt huge and she felt not pretty. And then later, she looked back at those same photos and was like, I was a freaking goddess. And she was. And the kicker is, she still is, but she doesn't see that in herself right now. So now she's at a new stage of feeling uncomfortable in pictures. It's summertime, people are doing vacation, people are going out with friends. I don't care if you are a size two or if you are a size 32. I don't care if your hair is foobar. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about any of those things. Be in pictures. Be in pictures with people who you love. Take pictures of people who you love. And when you see them taking pictures of you, unless they're the a-hole that puts the picture of you on Facebook with your double chin, because I have had a family member post this photo on Facebook. I just untagged myself and moved on with my life. Then suck it up and realize that we get one life and being just super pissed off because you aren't ready to be in a photo is, is, is wrong to be pissed off about. Because on the other end of that, the person taking the picture might wish that somebody wanted to take a picture of her or him. 
God bless you. You are beautiful how you are. Enjoy your summer and document TF out of it.